40 acres and a mule. Maybe you've heard that phrase before, but why is it so ubiquitous and where does the mule come in? The short answer, reparations. Before the Civil War, cotton picked by enslaved people was the US's biggest export and enslaved people, the biggest financial asset, worth $3.5 billion, more than all manufacturing and railroads combined. Even in the North, many banks traded in or relied on enslaved people as capital. After the Civil War, many formerly enslaved people and some white allies like Thaddeus Stevens and Charles Sumner argued they should be compensated for their centuries of unpaid labor. In 1865, after meeting with black community leaders, General William Sherman, with President Lincoln's approval, issued Special Field Order Number 15. For 400,000 acres of coastal land to be confiscated from rebellious slave owners and redistributed to formerly enslaved people, with each family receiving up to 40 acres. He later ordered that the army lend the settlers mules to work the land. But the promise of 40 acres and a mule would be short-lived. 